Have you ever wanted to build a finely targeted Twitter audience? Maybe you want to connect with people who retweeted a particular tweet that's highly relevant to your brand or products, and you want to target people that just retweeted it because it A, tells you they're active on Twitter, and B, tells you they're extremely relevant to what your message is. Let's say I'm looking to give away some free beer on Twitter and I want to find people who are interested in that. So I can search for free beer and I stumble across this tweet. It's getting a lot of traction. I can click on it and I want to go after all the people who retweeted it. So I click this button, I'll see 427 people retweeted this tweet about free beer. And what if I want to refine my targeting even further and only reach out to people in this list with more than 100 followers and go after them, maybe send them DMs or follow them. Now, I could go through this list one by one and manually look up each person, see how many followers they have, this person has more than 100, this person has less than 100, and filter them out, but that would take forever. You could instead use the Twitter API, which I know it may sound scary up front using an API, but it's actually incredibly easy and you can register to build an app on Twitter for free. You can see my other video on how to do that and I'll put a link down below. So this is the particular endpoint I want to talk about. This talks about specific tweets and how you can get data back about individual tweets, such as you can get like the like count, when it was tweeted, and what we will care about are the individual users who retweeted it. So you can see the endpoint here, it takes in a tweet ID, which if I go back to this URL, I can see the tweet ID here. It's this really long number. And I just need to plug it into this URL and that builds the endpoint for me. And what I can see is I can give it a couple parameters, basically how many to return back. Uh, unfortunately though, this endpoint will only return the most recent 100 retweeters of a tweet. So if you need more than 100, you could keep polling this like every hour if it's a really popular tweet, because it'll keep giving you the most recent tweets. Or what I'll show you later in the video is you can actually take a collection of tweets. So I can go back to my search and I can grab a couple of these tweets and get their IDs and then get the combined list of all the people who retweeted all these tweets together. So the endpoint is pretty straightforward. You just need to put the tweet ID here and then call it using your auth bearer token and you'll get a response like this. It'll give you an array of all the users who have retweeted it. So the outer part of the array will be the text, which will basically be the same as the retweet. What we care about though is getting the list of users, which is gonna be in this user part of the response. So here in this example, Twitter API, I retweeted uh, the example tweet they put in here. And what I care about are getting all the people who retweeted it. So hypothetically, if I were to call this URL on the API, I'd get back a big list and I want to go after this user object and then collect them all into a CSV file or a big JSON list. So to demonstrate how to harvest this data back from the JSON, I'm going to show you how to do it on the Steve C data platform. This is effectively a client around the official endpoint that's able to make intelligent use of the response. This is a paid product, uh, full disclaimer, I own it, but I'm just gonna talk about it using this as a demonstration aid. You're free to write your own software and follow the same principles here if you'd like. So Stacy's gonna ask us for the tweet ID, which I can get from the URL, and it's gonna ask us for our personal Twitter access token. So if you don't have one, you can follow this link and generate one. Just paste it in here once you have it. And here, like I said, we can get only 100 back at a time. The endpoint doesn't support pagination, unfortunately, but maybe that will change in the future. And here, I'm just gonna make a quick request. So now it's gonna query Twitter, and it got me the raw JSON back. So this corresponds to the raw response from Twitter over here. And what the Steve C system does, it takes all this messy JSON, and it's able to automatically flatten it out. So you can see we have this big, messy, nested JSON structure and it automatically just condenses things like arrays of size one just automatically flattens to the parent object upwards and it's able to intelligently figure out based on the column values what are we most likely interested in and it can build them as collections we can download as csvs so for example it went to the root of the json object which is that big array at the beginning all these little objects here and it identified that as the primary collection we'd be interested in so I can preview it here, and like I said, I can see all the users who retweeted that free beer tweet, and I can download this as a CSV file. In the CSV, each row represents a retweet, so I can see the text of the retweet is the same, because when you retweet, it's just the same text. What I care about, though, are the authors who retweeted it. So I scroll to the right a little bit, I'll see the user name, the screen name of each of the Twitter users, so if I wanted to send them a message or follow them, I could do that. And more importantly, I can also look at their location and their follower account. So like I said, if I only want the people with over 100 followers, I could easily filter that here in Excel, 
or I could do that on the Steve C platform. So 100 people looking for free beer is good, but how do I get more? How do I get up to 1,000? So like I said, we can't paginate this endpoint, but we can put multiple tweet IDs in and get the combined people who retweeted all of them together in one big list. To do that, we'd have to keep calling this endpoint, change the tweet ID, and then execute this again, change the tweet ID, execute it again, and manually stitch together all the responses. So you're free to do that if you want, or for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do that on the Steve C platform using workflows. So here, I already made a pre-built workflow that you can import, or you can clone it and customize it if you want. So I'm just gonna import this, and this is gonna do exactly that. It's gonna ask us for a list of tweet IDs to input, and it's gonna automatically go through them one by one, call the Twitter API, and then combine all of the retweeters together into a single file so I can target them and filter them. So let's go back to Twitter, find a few more tweets to target. So here's one, I'm just gonna add it to another line, another one. So we'll just do three for now. The Steve C platform shows in the execution previews, the URLs it's gonna hit, the three Twitter IDs I entered, you can put in more if you want. And what I care about though is the filtering. So this extractor part is actually what's gonna go, and like I mentioned, it was automatically finding the root collection, that array. Uh, so this is telling it to go and flatten out that collection and return it to me in CSV. But now how do I filter it? So I only want users with more than 100 followers. I can go here under filtering, under the settings. Now it's gonna ask me for an output field which corresponds to that CSV we just opened. So let me pull it back up here, and I can see the followers count is named under this column, user dot followers count. So just copy that column name and then paste it in here under the output field. So I'm telling the platform which field to filter by and then I give it a filter type. So I want to do within range. So I want people greater than 100 followers. I have to give it an upper bound. So let's just say a very large number of followers. Now the filter's set. You can go ahead and run the workflow now and Steve C will automate uh, accessing these endpoints, filtering out the objects and stitch them together into a CSV. Like I said, you could write your own code to do this. You don't have to use this platform. And just tweak some settings and run this. One thing to note about rate limiting is if you look at the official API here, they give you some rate limits. They tell you for every 15 minute window, you can only query this 75 times. So you'll see here, the CC platform was set by default to query this 75 times at once and then wait 15 minutes to ensure you're not rate limited. This isn't perfect, uh, but it gets the job done of avoiding getting rate limited. So when you write your own program, be sure to follow that and make sure that you don't hit it more than 75 times every 15 minutes. So now you can see it's running. We're only making three requests because we only put in three IDs. But if we put in more IDs, like 100 IDs, it would do 75 and then wait 15 minutes and then do the remaining 25. So I can see the system finished running. It made three different requests for each of the tweets. And after filtering out the users with below 100 followers, it only got 80 items. Here's my output file from the workflow like before, where on the left-hand side, it shows me the content of the retweet. And if you remember, I put in three separate IDs so I can see the three tweets here that were originally retweeted. So this first one is from Dairy Maids. It only found one retweet. And then a bunch of these here are from Cask Ale Week. That was the one we did in our demo. And then a bunch here are from the Wise uh, Bartender UK. So like I said, if I put in 10 different tweet IDs to get the retweeters for, we would have 10 different values here repeated over. And what I care about most though are the people who retweeted these because I can micro-target these people as interested in free beer. So I can see the combined list of usernames here. So if you ignore the actual tweet that they retweeted and you just care about this list, it's right here. So I can go and put them into another program or find them on Twitter and follow them or use an automated social platform to get more information about them. And most importantly, I can see here under the follower count, the Steve C platform went and filtered out anyone with below 100 followers. So all these people have more than 100 followers and now they fit my target uh, metric of retweeting a tweet about free beer. So there you have it, how you're able to micro-target users on Twitter based on their retweeting habits. Let me know in the comments your thoughts if you think this is useful, what do you wanna use this for? Are there any similar targeting techniques you'd like to use via the Twitter API? Let me know and I'd love to make another video. Thank you so much for watching and stay data-driven.